study Mandarin in Taipei. Good place to study in. It's very popular. It's very upcoming. More and more people are studying Mandarin in Taipei these days. And um, so let me talk a little bit about the opportunities there and why Taipei is a good place to study and why maybe not. And as usual, I'll be giving you five reasons why you should study Mandarin in Taipei and then three mm, why maybe not. Now the first one is um, studying and teaching Mandarin in Taipei has a long history. Um, say 30, 40 years back when it was very difficult for people from most Western countries like the United States or Europe um, go to go to Beijing or Shanghai to study Mandarin, well they all went to Taipei. So uh, Taipei has a very long history uh, of teaching Mandarin and as a result of that a very active, qualified and highly motivated Mandarin teaching community. So you're going to find a lot of very good tutors and, and teachers in, in Taipei, that's number one. Number two is, Taipei people really are very supportive of people studying Mandarin. So um, uh, by studying Mandarin you, you're going to get a lot of respect, people will be, oh yeah, that's, that's really nice that you're learning Chinese and they're, they're, they're very helpful. Um, Taiwanese people are in general very helpful. Um, they are uh, very supportive if you're trying to say something in Mandarin, they, they try to listen to you. Um, and you get a lot of, yeah, respect for it. It's like, well, learning Mandarin, that's a good thing, fantastic. So uh, it's a very friendly environment to study Mandarin. Number three, so uh, the internet in Taiwan is free. So that means uh, Google, Facebook, everything works. There's no firewall, there's no VPN needed. Um, and you can use uh, Google Maps, Instagram, or whatever other software you want to use in, in Taipei without any problems. And that is particularly useful when you're just newly arriving in a city. Um, Google Maps really helps when you have no idea where anything is. Things like that. So you have really access to everything uh, on the internet freely in Taipei, which is uh, much more restricted in cities like Beijing or Shanghai. Number four is a great environment and you have a, a, a very uh, good environmental situation in, in, in Taipei. It's only about an hour to the beach and it's very close to the sea. Taiwan is an island of course. Um, it, it never gets really cold um, so there's no snow or anything like that. Taiwan is basically an almost tropical island. At the south of Taiwan in Kunding you can swim all year round so a beach is never more than a couple of hours drive away. Um, and you have great hiking. Um, in fact, in the middle of Taipei, there's, there's a mountain that you can hike up. It's quite interesting. The city has a mountain in the middle of it, right next to the CBD. Um, there's fantastic more hiking around it. There's great bicycling opportunities. So a lot of outdoor activity you can do there. So uh, you have great air quality there. Um, so the environment in, in Taipei is really very good. And fifthly, I definitely Taipei people. The people in Taiwan are just super friendly, helpful, supportive. Um, they're really um, very polite. Um, they're very um, organized. It's not so much of an elbow society. Like it's much more people are polite and friendly and uh, relaxed. Um, so you, you can immediately feel a very friendly and positive vibe when you're coming to Taipei. And that's really nice. Okay. Now let me give you three reasons why maybe Taipei might not be the perfect place for you to study Chinese in. Now, the first one for is, of course, that uh, all over Taiwan, since in Hong Kong, people use traditional Chinese characters. Now, these are different to simplified characters, but everywhere on the mainland, um, people use simplified characters. And um, you can study simplified characters in, in Taipei, of course, as well. You have that choice. However, everything outside is in traditional characters. Now, traditional characters are very interesting, have a lot of history to it, and they are, of course, very similar in the end also to simplified characters, but they are different. Um, now, if this is a good thing or bad thing, it's, it's for you to decide. Um, but if you're studying simplified characters, you are not going to find it outside um, your school environment, on the streets, and so on, because people do use traditional characters, though everybody does understand it's simplified too. Um, that's number one. Number two, now, Taipei is, is very organized and friendly, but it's also a little bit slower compared to, let's say, Beijing or Shanghai. So it's not as it's cutting edge and moving forward and always happening and going to the most modern trends and, and, and really at the forefront of everything as, as Beijing or Shanghai are. It's much slower. Um, so you, you, you can feel 
the, the, the energy there is more stable, not as really pumping all the time. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a slower play. And reason number three is uh, Tai Yu or Hokkien, Fujian Hua. So uh, in Taiwan originally, uh, most people speak Hokkien, or it's called not Tai Yu, um, which is the same basically. Um, and while it's mainly spoken in the South today, and in Taipei, really Mandarin has become the standard language of communication, there are still many older people who speak Tai Yu, um, and you are going to hear it uh, in some cases, particularly with older people. Um, also, if you go further south down in Taiwan there you will find a lot of people speaking Thai and um, so in, in in Taipei itself you will be, find a lot of well basically almost all the time Mandarin is what, what is spoken here but Thai does exist and um, so it's not only Mandarin in, in Taiwan or in Taipei all right those are the three reasons why maybe Taipei is not perfect for you to study Chinese in. now I would say overall I love Taipei I think it's a great place to study Mandarin if today I had to choose a place to study Chinese again, I'd probably go to Taipei because you have a very high quality of life. It's a great place to study. It's not crazy expensive, it's actually reasonably affordable. Um, and the people are just so nice. Like, um, I, I think Taipei is a fantastic place to study Chinese. In.